Okay, this how-to video is going to show you how to use the intra-differential pairs via spacing that's available inside the Cadence PCB tools. <coughs> so usually when you're routing a differential pair, you obviously, you, you click on Add Connect, you double click to add the vias. The via spacing here is driven effectively currently by the via pattern spacing. Um, and then you've got options for kind of an automatic, which would be the default, the minimum spacing requirement or a user defined value. Um, and you might drive a specific spacing rule per differential pair. Um, so there's a slightly better way to do that now. So if we go to constraint manager, um, we obviously, by default, if we look at our physical rule, there's there's the differential pair setting, so our minline spacing, our primary gap, our net gap, and our tolerances, but there's nothing specific for a via. Um, so users might go to a spacing and separate, a, a generate a different spacing rule, and they have that spacing rule driven um, specifically just for differential pairs. But if we look at the physical pane now and look under the net section, when we get to the differential pairs, there's actually a an option now for um, referenced intra DP spacing C set. So you can actually drive a specific spacing rule um, for that differential pair. So it's, it's associated with the differential pair specifically. So if I look at the, I've got an eight mil and a four mil gap. And if we look at the spacing and our rule sets, the eight mil and the four mil gap, effectively just by looking at the via options, you can see effectively I've got specific rules just for the for the vias under the eight mil and the vias for the four mil. So you can you can drive a rule here. So when I root, and so I've got this applied to a TX and an RX. So if I double click to add the vias, um, and what I'll do is I'll actually change the via pattern spacing and I'll specify the minimum value. This would then use that DP gap value that we're specifying. So we'll just, uh, let's just go and finish this routing. Drop the vias in again, and then we'll go and finish that in. And then we'll do the same for the for the other one. Drop the vias, and you'll notice obviously the via difference, the spacing is different here because they're using different rule sets. Let's just drop that in there. So if we then use the um, the display constraints to show us the physical rules, so we'll just turn everything off except vias. If we window select these two vias, you can see these are using the four mil DP via space rule, and these ones are using the eight mil via mil spacing rule. So it's using a specific differential pair rule for that for that via spacing on that specific differential pair.